caliber gun cricket carbine mini in 0.22 it is absolutely one of my favorite air guns now this gun this air gun i've purchased with my own money and i want to talk a little bit about how i came to acquire this gun why and where i got it from so as i started to get deeper and deeper you know how that happens into the uh, air gun world i eventually was looking for basically a dealer somebody close by now i know a lot of guys know how to work on their own air guns and know their way around pcps and everything that's really was not me and uh, i did had ordered an air gun for from air guns of arizona they are wonderful but they are very far from me and when i started having some questions or issues with the gun it was very difficult for me to want to ship that gun all the way out there and wait for it etc so i did my research i looked around lo and behold there is a local dealer i'm in georgia happens to be there's a guy here Charlie Frere, owner, operator of Georgia Air Guns. And he is the caliber gun dealer. I'm about an hour and a quarter away from him. That worked out all perfect. I did my research and everything that I've read, both of the dealer and the guns turned out to be solid information. So. I decided to take a chance. I gave him a call. We talked. I went to the shop. The Mini had just come into the picture then. And I really liked the gun. There were some things that I was, eh, I don't know about at the time, but um, I took a chance on it. I ordered the gun. And uh, in a few days, he had the gun ready for me and shooting perfectly. And uh, I went to pick it up and man, was I not disappointed. Now, Charlie, I wanna talk a little bit about his uh, operation. Charlie is a stand-up guy. He stands behind his work and he absolutely will make things right if they are not you know as they should be the fact that i am very close to him helps out but if you're not um you know you're gonna be shipping your gun but his work he stands by it and he will back up all his guns in his tuning process let's talk about the tuning process the tuning process is important because you can buy this gun from other dealers. There's other stores and places that uh, have access to sell you this gun. But Charlie puts his personal touch on these things. He accurizes the gun, basically. He laps the barrel. He makes sure that the trigger is tuned and he makes sure that it's shooting accurately, that it's not leaking. When the gun comes to you, it is shooting as it should, as a top end gun should be shooting. You should not be receiving a gun of this cost from a dealer and then having to tune it yourself or having a wandering point of impact, etc. And that's what Charlie does for you. Um, I've gotten to know Charlie. He is a wonderful human being and I really like him. I trust him. Um, he's old school. So his website may not be the most state of the art website in today's world of the internet. You know what? Give him a call. He'll be happy to talk to you. He'll be happy to go over your needs and he will not lead you astray now um, this review is going in the direction of the caliber gun cricket 2. some of you may know i do have that in my possession 
and we're going to be talking about that gun on the next installment. I received that gun through Caliber Gun in the Czech Republic through Charlie, and they have been very gracious to lend me the gun for review. I will do so, but I wanted to break this down in sections and let you know about the different aspects because it's not just about the gun. The dealer here really does matter. Um, one thing I wanna mention, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, I am not getting paid to do these videos. Uh, none of the videos you've ever watched on my channel have been paid for. There has been a couple trinkets that I have received for free in consideration for reviewing them, and they will always be honest. Now, in this series, I will compare the Mini to the Caliber Gun 2, which will be the main subject of this series. But uh, I do want to talk about the Mini a little bit, compare them a little bit, and in due time, I, I should have actually done this quite a while ago, I will be doing a full review on the Mini as well. If you happen to be in the market for a caliber gun, amongst other guns that he sells, uh, I would seriously look up Charlie. I would leave a link in the description to his website. Uh, give him a call, talk to him. He may or may not have what you need, but he will not lead you astray, guys. Peace out. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> now, you didn't think I was going to leave without uh, giving you a little tease of the Caliber Gun Cricket 2. Here it is in all its glory. Uh, you may or may not have seen it in my hunting adventure. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went down to South Florida and we did some really awesome iguana hunting with Orion, the iguana hunter. And the Caliber Gun Cricket performed just absolutely wonderfully. Uh, it is very accurate. I was taking shots at 50 yards and beyond. And just on the first shot, just um, doing headshots on them and grounding them on the spot. So, yeah, um, very reliable. We'll go ahead and dissect it and talk about it a little bit in more detail as I do a proper review of this gun. The weather has been a little not so good here in the south for the last couple of weeks and I've had to, you know, take care of other issues, uh, family, work, etc. But I promise that I will do a full review and I will bring it to you and we'll check out the uh, gun's capability. Uh, you can go ahead and check out. I do put some information out on Instagram sometimes. Um, not big on asking people to follow me or subscribe, but you know, I don't mind if you do. Go ahead, you can get some information on these things and I'll appreciate it. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.